what we're gonna do today. Rebuilding this. I'll see you in a minute. Right here on the lever, keeping it stuck in. We're gonna pull this off. We've got 2011 Harley Blackline. And we're gonna inspect this brake fluid. It's come in, it's got your brake light sticking on. And as I thought, it hasn't been flushed or clean in a long time, probably since 2011. So doing your periodic maintenance will help on this stuff. We're gonna cover that up. Um, dot four is very corrosive. So if you can, cover the tank, all right? Um, next, we're gonna remove the master cylinder. If you got a mighty back or anything like that, you can get cheap ones at the store. You can even get one at Harbor Freight. If you suck that all out, you can look here clearly in the master cylinder and see that the brake fluid has crystallized. So, it has absorbed moisture. Remove this clip. Yep, removing it. It's removing real good. <laughs> All right, we got the clip off. <laughs> That's tough. It's a tough little clip. And pull the pin out. Set that over here. Remove the lever. Okay, front brake lever. Now we're gonna need to take this apart. <laughs> Now that we've manhandled it apart, go ahead and remove this uh, inner o-ring. It's probably married to it right now because uh, it's never been out. Let me get the chainsaw real quick. Okay, we finally have achieved goodness. The o-ring. No? no? Taking in the pliers. You can remove the plunger. <laughs> now you were wondering why the brake light was sticking on. I could tell you why. Okay. So now we got it apart. It actually goes just like this. Okay, just like this. I'm gonna clean this off. Set this up just like it was for reference. And we're gonna get this clean, then we'll rebuild it. So, in this bore right here is where the plunger was sticking because all this corrosion and you got these little tiny orifices that the brake fluid has to travel through. And after so long, the brake fluid absorbs moisture. Once it starts absorbing the moisture, it crystallizes, and then you have what you have here. Okay? And we're gonna clean it and we'll be right back. I'm clean. All right, we got it all clean. Clean the bore inside and clean the master cylinder. Now a lot of times the brake fluid, if it sits too long, it'll actually corrode and eat the metal. So you want to be careful and you want to make sure you get that stuff flushed out. Alright, you're going to need a 916 master cylinder rebuild kit, okay? If you're wondering what master cylinder you have 916 is written right here on the master cylinder so we got all our parts compared to our old stuff something's different oh this needs to be put on so we're gonna have to slide that here and put the o-ring here okay 
Alright, we want to rebuild this with dot four brake fluid. So we're gonna put a little brake fluid in this cap right here. We'll use that to lubricate our O-ring and to lubricate our seal. So put the seal on right here. Note the order is gonna compare it. Yes, is it the same as our other one? Yes, the taper is going the same direction. The O-ring is not directional, so we're just gonna come over here and we're gonna slide that on. Okay, now that they're on, it matches our other one. The spring will go inside there. ahead and now we will insert the plunger and the spring. Okay, once we get that in, push down on here, push in your master. Now we have one more seal left. The white line will go inside. Now this is going to be just as fun as it was taken out. Could be even more fun. Gonna gently work it in evenly. So we got about half of it worked in right now. I have to work this other half in. Also, at the same time, I'm trying to apply a little bit of pressure to the plunger. That way it's just not pushing on your seal. Now that we've installed the seal, putting the lever back on, clean the corrosion off, slide that back in.